Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to uh, information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice, and I want to continue with my stories of the Hasidim, um, and uh, I want to continue talking about Rabbi Yisroel of Rijin. Uh, and he had a comparison between the, the Rebbes, the, the, the Tzaddikim, the, the, the righteous leaders of the, the Hasidish sects, and the Hasidim, the, the followers, the people who would travel to and gather around the, the Rebbe, the, the, the Tzaddik. And you compare them to letters of the Hebrew alphabet and the, the Nikudim, the, 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 the vowelization, the marks that are above, below, uh, to the left, or sometimes inside the letters. It gives the, uh, the pronunciation, the vowelization. And he said, um, that the tzaddikim, the, 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 the rebbes, the leaders, were the letters of the Hebrew alphabet. The Hasidim, the followers, they were the nekudim, they were the, uh, the vowelization marks, the dots, the dashes. The... As you may know, the Hebrew letter, the letters are only consonants. Um, there's no separate vowels. The vowels are in the nekudim. In the, in the, so without the nekudim, without the, the vowelization marks, the consonants don't stand. So all you hear is like Similarly, the vowelizations have no meaning without the letters. Some consonants, olive, ein, have no sound at all. Not even a um, He says, the chesidim, give voice to the tzaddikim, to the rebbes. The rebbes are the letters, but it's the Hasidim that give it the voice. They go forth and they spread the sound of the words throughout, throughout the corners of the world. And so we see today um, the Hasidic sects, uh, Belts, uh, Breslov, uh, Bobov, Ger, Satmar, Lubavitch, spreading the word around. Uh, with Rabbi Nachman, over 200 years since his death, his words uh, are only known to us because his disciple, Reb Nosen, wrote them down and eventually they were published. Uh, the words of uh, the Alta Rebbe that were contained in the Tanya and are spread throughout the world by the, by Le, the Lubavitcher movement, the Chabad movement. The Yisrael, Avrishin, the Tzaddikim, the, the Rebbes are the letters, and the Hasidim are the vowelizations, the Nekudim. And he uses this example of giving sound, uh, of spreading it around, and he gives a, he gives a story. There was this uh, Chosid, this Hasidic guy, who was uh, walking along the road in the country, and a carriage passes by, and he flags the, the carriage down. In the carriage were members of um, the Enlightenment. These were modern, free-thinking Jews. You know, they looked upon the this Hasidic guy as a relic from the past. He was a, it's a dinosaur, and they were yelling at the the carriage driver, "What are you stopping for this guy?" He uh, convinces uh, the driver, the carriage driver, to uh, that he could sit up with him for a couple of coins, sit up on top of the, the carriage with him, not inside, but you know, just ride along. They agree. They're riding along, and as the day progresses, it comes close to the time for afternoon prayers. The chassid convinces the driver to stop for a couple of minutes so that he can get down and recite mincha, the afternoon prayer. Needless to say, the men in the back, not happy. They were hurling abuse upon the, the driver, and, and why are you stopping? What do you, this guy has to do his prayers? What's the matter with you? He's just, just keep driving on. The chosid went through his mincha prayers. He didn't rush it, but he didn't do it too slowly. He did it right, and eventually got back on to the, uh, to the vitriol of the enlightened. Abuse hurled upon him and the driver. Um, so, what does this have to do with anything? 
Rabbi Yisroel of Rizhin says the Hasidim, they're the sound, and that sound can travel. And who knows, sitting in that carriage, looking at this religious, pious Jew, saying his afternoon prayers, as Jews have done throughout the millennia, a seed would be planted two years, five years, ten years, thirty-five years down the road. That seed may germinate. That seed may take root. You don't know the effect of your actions. You don't know the effect that your words or your deeds will have on other people. Um, by our actions, by our words, we have an effect on people. And like the Nikudim, like the vowelization marks for the Hebrew letters, we can give voice to the, the precious words of our righteous people, our tzaddikim and our rebbes and, and chazal, our, our sages, and the knowledge that has been accumulated over thousands of years. Uh, you never know when a pebble drops in the, in the water. You never know how far the ripple effect goes. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.